cheese is this? If you said Swiss cheese, you're close. It is made in Switzerland, but to be precise, it's Emmentaler, one of the truly classic and best known cheeses of Switzerland and the world. Today we're going to find out what makes Emmentaler such an exceptional cheese, and we may even find out how those holes get there. There are good reasons why Emmentaler is called king of Swiss cheeses. Its history goes back to the 13th century, and today Emmentaler is made just as it was back then. Great cheese starts with great milk, and the cows grazing on rich grass in Switzerland's Emma Valley, or the Emmental as it's known, produce the milk worthy of the Emmentaler name. But milk doesn't become cheese all by itself. That's where the expertise and craftsmanship of the cheesemaker comes into play. Roland Sully is just that cheesemaker, with over 50 years of experience in the Swiss cheese industry, Roland is one of the cheesemaker directors of Gormino, specialist in the production and ripening of Switzerland's finest cheeses. Uh, I was born in a dairy. My parents ran a small dairy in the Emmental, so I grew up with milk and cheese. In our company, we're ripening uh, 10 different types of cheese, mainly Emmental and Gruyere. The Swiss say that all great cheeses are born in the depths of a cellar. When searching for a cellar to ripen their cheese, Gormino found the perfect conditions in the Bernese Overland. Their cheese cellar is a former military bunker set 250 meters below the pasture on top of the mountain. I love being in this cheese cave. I don't think I've ever seen so much cheese in one place in my entire life. This is amazing. How would you classify Emmentaler generally as a cheese? Yeah, you have a huge variety of different cheeses. Only in Switzerland are produced more than 400 different cheeses. And the Emmentaler is one of the oldest cheese. It's also the, the biggest cheese in the world. So our cheese is, has a rind. It's a wheel, a big wheel, and it's made from raw milk. That's the technical differentiation. Raw milk has a huge advantage because uh, worldwide only a few dairies are really able to process raw milk cheese because therefore you need short distances, you need a higher quality and our landscape here in the, in the area is predestinated for small productions, really a high quality level on, on the milk. These wheels are gigantic. Each one <laughs> weighs about 200 pounds. Why are they so big? History says that it was the Russian Tsar in the 18th century who decided to increase a tax to import cheese per wheel. Swiss cheese exporters at this period decided to produce bigger wheels to pay less duty. All taxes aside, what is Roland's favorite cheese? Oh, my favorite cheese for today is Emmentaler, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I prefer the longer aged cheese because uh, the mild quality is, is good for a sandwich, but for a cheese plater with friends, uh, with a glass of red wine or cider, I prefer really a between 12 to 24 months aged cheese. There you have it. An Emmentaler, aged 12 to 24 months, is Roland's favorite. So, where do the holes come from? Yeah, it's the most famous thing of a cheese because every child, if it has to de design a cheese, is designing a, an Emmental. Yes. Because it's cheese with holes. The holes are a co-product from a, one of the fermentation. It's a gas production which produce finally the holes. Temperature in the cellar is too cold, the texture is too firm, and then you will never produce a hole you will have a crack. Now we understand how the holes get there, but what does it take to produce a consistent quality cheese? You need the experience from the cheesemaker, as well as from us as an affineur. But first of all, you need a good raw material, which starts at the farm with the milk production. The milk has to be brought in the dairy really fresh, 
and has to be processed within 18 hours. The fresh raw milk from small family farms is just the start to creating a high quality cheese like Emmentaler. Yeah, finally cheese making for uh, specialties like Emmentaler and Gruyere, it's a handcraft. What is the secret of Emmentaler? Bring the freshest milk from local farms to a nearby dairy where the cheesemaker crafts the cheese according to a 700-year-old recipe, then age the cheese in a cellar to guarantee superlative taste, texture, and those iconic holes. So when you head to your local cheese counter, look for the Emmentaler name on the label. And the next time a slice of Emmentaler is served on your salad or sandwich, you can think fondly of the Swiss farmers, cheesemakers, affineurs, and of course the cows who make this classic cheese possible.